Good morning. You may have noticed through quick math and deduction skills that I'm in my car already. I'm meeting a friend for coffee this morning, so when I woke up, I kind of had to get in the shower really fast and get a move on, so I figured I'd do my morning drop in once I was down here in the car. But trust me, I'm just as tired as when I woke up. It's 7 a.m. I did get up at 6.30. I'm on my way to a coffee shop and we're gonna make it a great day. I don't know why I walked down from my apartment to my car without a jacket. I didn't even think to check the weather. It's like 38 degrees out here, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> ha! And I'll see you guys soon. What's up, everybody? I didn't record any video of me and my buddy at the coffee shop. It was just, it was really early. We were having a really good conversation about life and things like that, and I didn't want to like interrupt anything but i did go get coffee so proof that i did my relationship challenge today yeah. i know y'all trust me i know y'all trust me probably not with the waking up early because i'm really bad at that but anyways i'm on my way to work now and i am absolutely energized for the day the conversation was just the most life-giving conversation it was not even just necessary but just like incredible it was a perfect perfect conversation and perfect hangout to cap off this 10-day challenge i am gonna do my workout i am gonna do my ice bath and my meditation today so i'll see you guys here in a little while and i'll check in when i'm doing that which probably just means that it'll cut really fast to that with like loud music and me just doing a bunch of random workouts and i decided to take a little mental break and go to mcdonald's because i did not go to mcdonald's this morning i feel like i'm developing an unhealthy addiction to mcdonald's but that's okay because mcdonald's is cheap and mcdonald's tastes good so much for this whole working out every day challenge just offsetting it with fast food <laughs> yeah What up, what up, what up, what up? I'm on my way home, and now you can't see me. <laughs> Got him. Almost home, actually. I'm gonna do my workout um, in our apartment complex gym today. Hopefully I'll be able to get quite a sweat worked up and then hop right into an ice bath after that to cap off day 10. None of the ice baths are easy, really, but hopefully I'll be able to you know, manage it with going straight from a workout to an ice bath. It's really difficult taking the ice bath, like not directly after a workout, but I'm on my way there now. And then I'm gonna work on some editing tonight, do my meditation and go from there. So it's the final day and we only have like about five hours left in the final day. So I don't know, it's getting real. See you in a bit. guys this is zach checking in at the end of the 10 day challenge i got my captain america pajama pants on and i'm ready to party i don't really have much else to say beyond what i've already said it's been really really challenging and yet incredibly rewarding which is the point you know and it's kind of to be expected i mean all these challenges were basically personal health challenges relational health mental health emotional health physical health and when you try hard things that are meant to boost your health they're usually going to go well and if they don't it's okay you can just scrap it and try something different and in this case i think all of these things were beneficial and i really want to carry all of them into the future i want to keep pursuing all of these things on a regular basis and not losing sight of them so i would highly 
highly encourage any of you who are interested in any of these things or similar things to go for it. And if it's something that kind of frightens you a little bit or makes you doubt your ability to pull it off, know that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to ace everything and you can go for it and get so much out of it without achieving the highest marks and the highest perfection. I think out of 10 days, I took an ice bath every day and I worked out every day. And I did some sort of relational challenge every day, but not to the fullest extent that I'd hoped. And when it comes to the waking up at 6.30 challenge, I probably failed on that about three times at least. And when it came to the meditation challenge, I didn't spend as much time in actual meditation and stillness as I wanted to. So I didn't hit this perfect. I fell short of the 10 out of 10 across the board mark. But my takeaways from it were really really awesome and the people I spent time with and poured into along the way I mean man if I didn't challenge myself to do that I wouldn't have had the incredible conversations and hangouts that I had and the ice baths taught me a lot they taught me how to persevere through a lot of discomfort and working out was something I wouldn't have pushed myself to do day after day for 10 days and so I really want to keep trying these things. I want to keep going. I want to keep doing it. Honestly, the most challenging part was just recording all of this and spending multiple hours a day editing on top of the full-time job that I work. And so more so than just the challenges themselves, managing the videography, the editing, the challenges, work, you know, social life, juggling all of it all around the board that was the most challenging part and i'd be lying if i said i want to keep going on this challenge but i'd also be lying if i said i'm not going to miss it so it's bittersweet to see the end and i think that's a good sign so i don't really know how else to end this other than just to say thank you for watching it <laughs> i think i'd hope to be a little goofier in this outro a little more you know <laughs> But just thinking back on the last 10 days and the opportunities, the relationships, the challenges, the feelings of being tired, feelings of discomfort, all of it mixed together, all the ups and downs, I can't help but just kind of be a little sappy, be a little reminiscent on it. I hope I used that term right. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. Thanks for sticking with me. And... Yeah, well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Probably won't be tomorrow, <laughs> but I got some ideas going for the future for some fun things, and I'm pumped. So like, subscribe, share with your family and friends, but not just for the numbers, but for the purpose of spreading a little bit of goofy fun and a little bit of joy today. Try something hard, push yourself, and when you mess up, it's okay, because you're still learning stuff. You're still growing. Have a little grace for yourself. Have a little forgiveness. Give some to other people. Pour into your relationships. And at the end of the day, if nothing else, just count the blessings that you have, even if they seem few. You know, because those are what we have. The people in our lives and the opportunities to be thankful. That's what we have. Hang on to those. And I will see you soon. Shine you off for now, okay? See ya.